Hi everyone, Dave from RV Triking. As you can see, my trailer's gone and uh, we've, we're going to replace it. We're going to go to a larger trailer. So I need a, a larger tow vehicle. We want the Jeep Grand Cherokee with a diesel engine. Um, the oil changes are expensive, so I'm going to be doing that myself. Uh, we're going to use a new product, uh, for me it's new, called a top sider, so I don't have to crawl underneath the vehicle. So that's what we're going to talk about today, so hey, just stay tuned. Okay, so this is the uh, Top Sider MVP, and the whole idea of the Top Sider is so you can extract all of your oil uh, from the top of the engine. So you don't have to go underneath and release the drain plug and, and have all the oil <laughs> running down your arm. Uh, so we're going to give this a try. Uh, I've watched several YouTube videos. Uh, thought our our watchers or our viewers might be interested in this for your tow vehicle. So uh, let's uh, bring it out and I'll show you what we have. This is the top sider and as you can see it uses a suction tube that we will be inserting down through our dipstick uh, on our on our Jeep Grand Cherokee and how this operates there's no electric or anything like that it works on vacuum so I will be pumping this up they say pump it 30 to 40 times and it will create a vacuum inside this tank it's a two gallon tank and it will siphon it will pull all of the oil out of my oil pan and into this now one of the issues that I have the Jeep Grand Cherokee diesel uses 10 quarts of oil and of course this is only eight so I'm going to have to stop uh, midway through somewhere and then um, empty my tank and then start it up again um, I've been reassured by other uh, users that it's not a problem and uh, it's very easy to do so we're going to find out okay so for our first step uh, we're going to be uh, sending this tube down through the dipstick uh, opening. So what they recommend that you do is pull your dipstick out and then mark it at the length where the dipstick goes down and contacts the top here. So we're going to just take a little marker and we're going to mark the hose. That way it's letting us know that we're down there far enough for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to set the dipstick aside and we start to feed the tube. And we're going to go down in the marks right here. So right there's the mark. We should be down to the oil. Now it says to take it in another two to three inches till it bumps the bottom of the pan. And it's a little bit more than that on this vehicle. So it's right there. I'm bumping the bottom of the pant. So I'm going to stop right there. Okay, so now for the next step, what we need to do is pinch off this tube. And they give you a little um, pinch valve here to close this tube up. So you just squeeze it in and it will click until it's solidly stopping this tube. And now we make sure that the seals are tight on the tank. So I assembled the tank, as the instructions say, and it has seals underneath to create this, the vacuum seal. So I'm going to pump it. They say uh, 30 to 40 times. Most people say 30 is enough. So let's go. Now I can feel a lot of pressure on that vacuum. So I'll give a couple extra pumps here and we should be fine. We release the valve and we should see a flow begin from the bottom of the tank. And there it goes. Okay, so another thing that I want to do is vent the top of the motor. Is just take your oil fill and loosen it so air can get in and it just makes it siphon faster. 
Okay, so while that's working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over here to the oil filter, which on this vehicle is right on top, and I'm going to replace this oil filter. Okay, so now removing the filter, we're going to lift it out. Then we'll be replacing the seals and the filter. So now we're at the end of our siphoning and you can hear it in the tank. It's just starting to draw bubbles. Okay, so I've turned my attention back to the filter. I removed the old O-ring gaskets and put the new ones on the tip and also down here on the um, filter cap. And now we're going to reinstall the filter. But uh, how they recommend that you do this or everything that I've read says to put uh, half of the oil down into the filter housing and then the other half, half into the filter housing, and then the other half over in your normal oil fill. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a funnel. We'll do that right now. Okay, so we're going to send half down the tunnel for the oil filter. We'll finish this side, then we'll go to the other. Okay, so we uh, filled the other side, got everything all cleaned up and buttoned up. Um, overall, uh, I believe the top sider is a winner. Um, it worked great. They give you these extra caps um, to uh, put on when you're ready to take it to the recycle center. I have the extra jug because of the 10 quarts that the Cherokee uses. I had to pour some over into the extra jug, but uh, very clean. I didn't have to crawl underneath. Um, I'm all finished up. You do have to wait, I believe it's 15 minutes or so after an oil change on a diesel before I fire it up. So um, everything went well, and I'll have uh, everything that I use, the oil, the filter, the top cider, uh, everything that I use will be in the uh, section below with links so you can go uh, find the items that I used. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, I look to uh, put some more up with our new trailer and uh, it's a whole new adventure. So hey, thanks for watching.